Hi, today we're going to be making very berry peach pies. Today we're going to use some blackberries and we're going to use blueberries to kind of balance out the flavors, mm -hmm. get a little bit of tartness and a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm. And the original recipe called for them to be made in eight inch ramekins, but we thought we'd give it a try and make them in little half pint mason jars. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put all the fruit in a large bowl and mix gently. We're using what the recipe calls for, uh, which are peaches, blackberries, and blueberries, but you can use any combination of berries that you like. The colors are really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of flour to our sugar mixture. And what this really does, this really helps thicken up the filling for our pies. Okay, I've got my sugar and flour mixed together. I'm going to toss it in with my fresh fruit, and this is going to help thicken it up and we'll be ready to serve it up. We have our six half pint jars ready. If you'll notice, um, we have two that are wide mouth and, and four that are just regular. Uh, so you can use whatever you have. But we're going to spoon the fruit into the jars and we're gonna fill them up quite a bit because once um, it starts to, to bake, uh, the fruit settles a little bit. So make sure we put plenty in. And we using this scoop too makes it a lot easier than sure just does. a regular spoon. The next step for our, our pies in the jars, we are going to dot them with butter. They're going to melt down and give that e extra yummy flavor. It's mm -hmm. a little bit softened here, so I'm just going to pop them on the top. Of course, anything with butter adds some flavor. Okay, the next step is a real easy one. This is the fun part. I've rolled out some pastry dough here, and I've used little special cookie cutters. I've used stars and hearts today, but an extra little tip would be that you could um, already buy your pastry dough. Why not take the shortcut mm -hmm. and uh, make it easy on yourself? Mm -hmm. And we've used uh, the tops of the jars, actually, depending on which size we wanted to use, to cut the circle so that it fits right in the jar very nicely. So we're going to place these on top and the fruit as it bakes will sink down in a little bit so you really do uh, having it over full is is a good thing i love these cutouts joanne these are great um, the last step is to sprinkle with a little bit of cinnamon sugar it gives it extra flavor and a little extra uh, color a little extra goldenness Okay, I'm going to share another little tip that we've got here. If you're going to be transporting these and taking these to a party or a picnic or something, um, sometimes it's kind of hard to keep the crust just perfect. So what we've done here is we've pre-baked some uh, pastry that we've cut out with cookie cutters, and we're just going to transport them separately. So when you open your jars, you can mm -hmm. just pop them on at the last minute and have kind of your little pie ready yeah, to go. That's a great idea. And then another idea too is when you do put these in the oven to bake, uh, to put them in, a, in a, a baking dish like this just in case they bubble over, uh, it's better to have it in the pan than on the bottom mm -hmm, of the I'll oven. Bet. Okay, and the last step is then we've got the oven preheated to 425 degrees. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and bake them in for 40 to 45 minutes until the tops are nice and brown. Okay, we're ready to taste these cute little pies. Aren't they sweet? They're look adorable. at the two different shapes. I love them. Oh my them. gosh. I love them. And uh, look how much lighter they are because you don't have all the crust that a normal pie would have. More fruit, which is nice good fresh, for us. And seasoned berries. Mm -hmm. So it'll be nice and fresh. Exactly. Oh, look how flaky and my crust warm. is. It's still warm. That looks nice. What a great little way to serve this, too. Oh my gosh. I think it'd be yummy with a little bit of ice cream mm -hmm. on it if you wanted to, or a little dollop of whipped cream. It these would be delicious. Are amazing. Look how easy, this. how easy was that? Really easy. Even we did it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Perfect. Mm. Mm. These pies in the jar are perfect for tailgating, picnics, and I'm going to show you a little trick that's really, really nice and easy. You can just pop a little lid on it to make it easy for transporting them so they stay nice and fresh. We have a little square of fabric that we've just cut. Mm -hmm. And how cute is that? Ready to go, ready for your guests, easy to pack. Look at you. Makes a presentation. <laughs> <laughs> and That's great. Isn't it I darling? It. I think yeah. they're really sweet. And if you did them in different fabrics, I think they're darling. Remember, you can find this recipe and lots more on our website, gooseberrypatch.com. And don't forget, please share your favorite recipes with us. And give this one a try and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.